morning, afternoon, or evening, guys. You know that Exorcist reboot that no one wanted and also being directed and written by David Gordon Green, the guy who made one decent Halloween movie and then two pieces of tripe? So not only is this video talking about apparently the recent uh, test screenings that bombed, which I don't know how they didn't think that was going to happen considering this guy got lucky once and proved that he actually isn't a good horror movie writer-director afterwards. They also have plans to make three? They want to make a trilogy? He's already written like that's bullshit. We already know that he can't write a trilogy. It's got the same writing crew. It's got fucking Danny McBride is a part of it. Like it's the same guys who made the fucking Halloween trilogy. This is an article from Screen Rant here. After reviving the franchise for three new installments, it's revealed that David Gordon Green was hired to do the same for The Exorcist. He has plans to direct three, with the first movie titled Exorcist The Believer, which is apparently due out later this year, but the test screening bombed. Now, of course, these things do tend to happen, and negative test screenings don't always mean that the film will be bad. Eh? Especially if the studio can now issue reshoots or do edits to clean up the film, but we'll have to see what happens on that front. As for the negative reviews, they are popping up, a lot of the complaints being that it is too long and it's not scary. Apparently there is one really good jump scare, which is iconic of The Exorcist, uh, Exorcist 3. David Gordon Green should not touch horror anymore. He got lucky once. And The Exorcist is one of the scariest horror films I've ever seen for a multitude of reasons. Not only is the demon stuff obviously like spooky, but it's actually just the medical shit. Like no wonder people didn't want to go to the fucking hospital. Means and how they did brain scans back then, uh, MRIs, which is super easy now. Like I've had MRIs, I've had CT scans. It's really simple to do now, but back fucking then they had to take a fucking, like a needle that was on par with like a pen almost like a bit smaller than this but they would shove it up your jugular here so they could access the top of your brain like to put the fluid in that entire sequence of all of the tests she goes through is probably the most horrifying shit i've ever seen like squirming in my fucking seat so you already don't have that anymore. Some people are admittedly scared of hospitals now. The only thing about the medical system that hasn't changed or gotten any better is a lumbar puncture. Like those are, uh, I've uh, spinal taps. I've heard about people having to go th get those like bone marrow. I never want to experience that because I have never heard anyone say that it was a fun time. Unless for some reason she's getting a shit ton of uh, bone marrow transplants, then, yeah, no, there's no fucking reason for this movie to be scary in the hospital sense. But either way, it's just, I just, I don't know how this guy keeps getting to make movies, to be honest. Um, like, there was this small patch of time where I was like, oh, comedians can do horror, and that has happened to an extent. There has been some success stories of, of it. But I find that a lot of the times it's a one and done or the ones who get the attention are the ones who took the easy way out and just took an existing title and did it themselves. For instance, Josh Rubin, this is a guy who directed Werewolves of Inn and Scare Me. Those are two funny yet somewhat scary horror films. And I find that he hasn't gotten a lot of recognition for what he's done because a lot of it's gone to David Gordon Green and his fucking just, ugh. Curious as to what you guys think about this. Did you even know that there was an Exorcist reboot happening? Every time I've seen an update about it, I've always just hoped that maybe it's getting canceled. And now the fact that they're gonna try and make fucking three of them, I really hope this one does so poorly that no one sees it, but it's a horror movie and it's Blumhouse, so. Most likely it will still fucking happen, which is unfortunate. Do you have any hope for this movie? Were you interested in it at all? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.